As the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism grows increasingly more desperate to coax visitors back to the pyramids, they're putting out more and more overblown news stories about thrilling or scary new discoveries. We at the Fancy Banana are apparently here to give them a hand with these things and have a bunch of the latest stuff to show you. Such lucky, lucky people. From a stinking, toxic fume leaking tomb to a pit full of severed hands, here are 20 most incredible finds in Egypt that scare scientists. Well, the highly strong ones, perhaps. Number 20. New Temple Found in Egypt, Temple of Bhutto Even the most excitable of ancient Egyptian enthusiasts might find it a tiny bit tricky to get their panties all in a bunch about this one, but there you go, we're telling you about it anyways, lucky old you. This is the recent and yawn-worthy discovery of the remains of a colonnade hall beneath a temple site in Egypt. Apparently it does signify a few interesting things about the history of architecture, but otherwise it's just a few columns in a pit next to an ancient temple, and while the site of the Temple of Bhutto is in and of itself, allegedly an important site in the history of the region, there are no very cool or exciting news stories or particular fascinating things that have been revealed. Shall we just move swiftly on to something a lot more silly? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. For most part, archaeologists of all things ancient are usually not tremendously interested in trying to prove the existence of aliens. Oh no, that sort of thing is left to UFO hunting special people, with whom we're all fairly familiar. If we've spent any time on the internet, ever that is. So I'm sorry to have to tell you this cod swallop right now. This is the uh, <coughs> story of how an archaeologist, although no bona fide Egyptologist would come out with this kind of horseshiz in a million years, claims to have discovered an alien skull inside this sculpture of the head of Queen Nefertiti. I guess that's why she's always depicted wearing this headdress. To cover up her massive alien head, of course. Yes, of course it is. Anyways, let me know all about what you think in the comments down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Egypt Sarcophagus – Mystery Black Tomb Opened in Alexandria Back in 2018, archaeologists in Egypt found a super creepy and extremely mysterious black granite sarcophagus. It was a bit different from all the usual tomb stuff that they're always finding out there, and it really did a number on those set at the task of opening it all up. First of all, there was the standard fear of the curse. This pretty much goes without saying whenever a tomb is opened. You know, the curse of the mummy's tomb is still a legitimate fear for some people. And things were way creepier in ancient Egypt, and also opening a tomb is fraught with biohazards and grossness, so you probably get it, I'm sure. Anyways, once they got to cracking this big black coffin open, these lucky archaeologists were met with the most horrendous stench. Well, it was a tomb after all, so this shouldn't be such an enormous surprise. Before they opened it, they had rather hoped for the long-lost tomb of Alexander the Great, but what they found was much less exciting. It was three skeletons and a puddle of brown sewage water. Excuse me while I just vomit slightly. Mm. So although they don't believe that they released a curse as such, it is quite possible that they could have released some toxic fumes. Mmm, delicious. Number 18. Researchers shocked to find that Egyptian mummy was a pregnant woman. An Egyptian mummy that was transported from Egypt to Poland in the early 1800s has recently undergone some new testing by a team of Polish scientists, and what they discovered was believed to be the world's first pregnant mummy. There are tasteless jokes, but it's too heartbreaking to think of them. The mummy dates back to the first century BC and was, for many years anyways, believed to be the body of a male priest, but modern scientific stuff can poke around where it was not previously possible. Using radiological scanning, the scientists at the National Museum of Warsaw have discovered that the mummy was not only a woman, but that she was about 28 weeks pregnant when she died. It just kind of makes me feel sad, though. Number 17. 
Oldest Tattoo Found on 5,000-Year-Old Egyptian Mummies According to Egyptologists, it seems as though this mummified corpse may be sporting one of the earliest tattoos ever. Now, there are actually two mummies that have been dated from about 5,000 years ago that can be seen sporting some ink. The images that have been found on their skin are of a wild bull and a Barbary sheep. These are on the upper arm of the male mummy, and there are some S-shaped patterns on the upper arm and the shoulder of the female. Previously, the earliest known tattoos in this region were a full 1,000 years more recent, so this is a big discovery in the history of body art and changes the way that the practice is seen by archaeologists on the African continent completely. These particular mummies were actually found about 100 years ago, but it's only with the use of modern infrared technologies that the body art has been properly identified. So, this may only be the beginning of rewriting the history books on the subject. This discovery has already changed the date of the earliest known tattoos, but it's also established that it was not only women who had them, as was previously believed, and body modification was actually used by everyone. The oldest tattoo in Europe was found on Otzi the Iceman, who is known to have had some vertical and horizontal lines tattooed on his body. They date to a similar era, but Otzi is believed to be slightly older, whereas the Egyptian mummy's tattoos are are figurative. Number 16. Egypt archaeologists make intriguing discovery in mysterious underwater opening. Sometimes being an archaeologist isn't just using a toothbrush to dust off bits of old broken pots. Ever so very occasionally, it can be a bit more like it looks in the Indiana Jones movies. Well, kind of. These archaeological types had to incorporate abseiling into their treasure hunting activities, which was all rather thrilling, I'm sure. They abseiled down a 20-foot deep pit that was full of water and then found themselves in what they described as a mysterious underwater opening. This unusual place was discovered about 40 miles to the north of Aswan. The whole area had been a major quarry during ancient Egypt's 18th dynasty. Inside the place, they found an entrance that they believed may lead to somewhere else, and they also believed that it may be a tomb that had previously been concealed by the water. Inside, there were pieces of pottery and skeletons, and also a second opening, and that got everyone extra excited. The size of the tomb, as well as the lengths that had been taken to conceal it, meant that they had probably probably found something really interesting. They think that in the area beyond the second entrance, there may be hundreds of bodies. Oh, what a fun one. Number 15. Ancient Egyptian Board Game of Death, Identified by Scientists this is an ancient Egyptian board game called Senate. It was played all throughout society from about 5,000 years ago until they got something more shiny and exciting about 2,500 years later. Anyways, after poking about into the game a little more, some Egypt experts now believe that they have figured out how and why it was played. It's known as the board game of death, which sounds rather less than enticing to be honest. And according to these nerds, the game basically involved moving your pieces to the finish point point on the board. They reckon that this was designed to depict the souls moving through the realm of the dead. Oh, how jolly indeed. Number 14. Mummified Mother and Child Found in Egypt here we are back again in the area around Aswan in Egypt, where this time we're looking at some more shriveled up old bodies. I know we're so lucky, aren't we? This is the kind of horrific discovery of a mother and her child's mummified remains. These old bodies are believed to date all the way back to the Greco-Roman period, which began in 332 BC with the rule of Alexander the Great. They found this big tomb in a chamber that was cut from the rock, and it's believed to be from about 2,000 years ago. The tomb itself seems to have contained up to 30 different mummies, as well as a whole array of artifacts like vases and statuettes, as well as a stretcher that archaeologists say was likely used to transport the mummies into the tomb. The two mummies that are believed to be mother and child are presented in a superimposed position. This apparently is what indicated to the experts of their familial relationship. They were also found still covered by something known as painted cartonage, which is created from pieces of linen or papyrus that have been glued together. Number 13. Restoration of Egypt's landmark temple leads to the unearthing of colossal pair of sphinxes. 
While it's beginning to seem as though the ground in Egypt is positively riddled with dried up old corpses, finding a sphinx is a more rare and perhaps exciting event. So finding two sphinxes, well that must be like Christmas. While archaeological types were busy restoring the ancient Egyptian temple of Amenhotep, the third in the west of Luxor, they unearthed a whole bunch of fragments that came from a pair of massive limestone sphinxes. These ruddy great big things had been around 26 feet tall and are believed to have depicted the pharaoh Amenhotep III wearing a headpiece that was shaped like a mongoose, a fancy regal beard, and a big necklace. These were confirmed as being in his likeness when the limestone was restored to reveal the inscription that was deciphered as the beloved Amun Re. They also happened upon a bunch of other cool ancient stuff like a load of statues and some bits of a temple that had art depicting a festival from ancient Egyptian times that was to celebrate the rule of the pharaoh after 30 years years in power. Not many pharaohs actually made it that far, as most of them died much earlier than that. But Amenhotep III did apparently, and he was celebrated for it. Number 12. Egypt Tomb – Sarcophagi Buried for 2500 Years Unearthed in Saqqara just when you think you've seen all the mummies that could possibly be discovered, they only go and crack open a new one, along with 58 of her friends no less. That's right, in October of 2020, archaeologists in Egypt began opening up the ancient sarcophagi that had been discovered earlier that year at an excavation site in Saqqara, just to the south of Cairo. And despite all the curses and all that junk that could befall a person if they poke about on a mummy, most people just keep on opening the things up all willy-nilly. In fact, not only are people willing to open those coffins up, there are also plenty of people lining up to be there when they do. And that's what occurred when these chaps pried open the lid of this ancient death box that had remained sealed for 2,500 years. Does the phrase, rest in peace, not mean anything to these people? The first sarcophagus contained the mummified remains of a priest, which had apparently been sporting a rather fetching ensemble of an ornate burial cloth with a picture of the dead chap's face on it. How delightful! The mummy motherers were apparently thrilled to bits with the contents of these coffins and couldn't believe their good fortune. Let's just hope that lasts for them and no unfortunate accidents should transpire. Number 11. Queen Nefertiti's Mummy Discovered According to Expert well, it is easy to claim that you found something, it's all a bit more tricky to prove it. Back in early fall of 2022, a leading expert in Egyptology claimed that the mummy of Queen Nefertiti had finally been found. The mystery of the whereabouts of Nefertiti's final resting place had stumped archaeologists for all of time, so this expert and his gang began the search in earnest back in 2017. They claim that they have found her and that they will reveal where, how, and why that they believed it to be the famous beauty in due time, of course. All sounds the teeniest bit like a lot of old guff to me, but then what the heck do I know? I just work here and say a lot of words. It's also important to remember, though, that the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism is ever eager to promote all the cool stuff that's been found in the constantly probed tombs of this country, and they are forever seeking a way to revive their flagging tourist industry, and a new massive find like this would more than likely cause quite the stir in the ancient Egypt fans department. Not that I'm skeptical or anything, of course. Number 10. Discovery of 16 Buried Hands in Egypt and now for something completely creepy. This is the sinister and pretty gruesome discovery of a whole heap of hands that were found dumped in pits dating back from around 3,600 years ago. So why in the world would there be a load of severed hands in a hole? That is a good question, so let's poke around and find out. Now according to experts in this era, warriors had a very specific and fairly horrible habit of cutting off the right hands of their enemies. Not so much as you might imagine as trophies, although there's definitely an element of that in it, but rather they would exchange the hands for gold. And you know how much those ancient Egyptians love the shiny stuff. The whole thing went down like this. When a fighter was successful in battle against an enemy, they would cut off their opponent's hands in order to remove their strength and to ensure that they would have no power for all the rest of eternity. You know how the ancient Egyptians felt about taking everything with them into the afterlife. Those hands were then exchanged for gold and then buried in these pits. How lovely. Number 9. Robot Inside the Great Pyramid Reveals a Secret Door 
The Great Pyramid of Giza, which is also known as Khufu's Pyramid, is a symbol of the great and enduring mysterious appeal of ancient Egypt's past. This pyramid is one of the biggest and most obvious pieces of the puzzle, and yet it continues to harbor secrets, some of which are still being revealed today. It's recently been discovered that within the Great Pyramid of Giza, there lies a massive void, or hidden room if you will, and scientists have only just begun to develop the technologies that will allow them to actually see beneath the surface of the structure. Although Khufu's Pyramid would be built in 2500 BC, our modern technology has only allowed us to probe so far inside this edifice. There are now scanners in use that are able to visualize and map out the actual shape of the interior, rather than just basing the map on what people had seen or could imagine was likely to be inside. So one of the things that they found while scanning the pyramid with this fancy new machine was a room or chamber that seemed to have been deliberately concealed. At 100 feet long, the space seems as though it may have had a purpose, but even with all the scanning machines in the world, we cannot yet figure out the meaning of ancient ideas. The scientists involved in the discovery are not calling the space a room as such, mostly because they have no idea what it was for, but rather they've taken to clinging to to this area as being a void. There are some theories, many of which these scientists are hesitant to get too excited about, one of which is that this hidden room could be the place where the king's body was buried. But they say it's more likely to have served as an engineering purpose for the architects that were involved in the construction of the Great Pyramid themselves. But what do you think? Should they try to find a way to go and have a closer look? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Number 8. Archaeologists in Egypt discover a tunnel that may lead to the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra. Cleopatra may be the most famous of ancient Egyptian queens, but the whereabouts of her tomb continues to elude the archaeological world. However, new information about a possible location has come to light. Archaeologists have discovered a tunnel carved into the rock beneath an ancient Egyptian temple that they've suggested could lead to the tomb of Cleopatra herself. The tunnel is 4,800 feet long and runs beneath the Taposiris Magna Temple in the region of Alexandria. Some experts have floated the idea that this could actually be the tomb of Cleopatra and her lover, Mark Antony. The tunnel itself has been described by those who have seen it as a miracle. This structure is apparently rather significant in engineering terms, although to call it a miracle may be rather overinflating it somewhat. It's approximately six feet high and beds a resemblance to another ancient tunnel on the Greek island of Samos. The one in Alexandria has thus far given up few secrets, but some pottery has been unearthed and some coins of Cleopatra and of the earlier ruler Alexander the Great as well. As various statues. Number 7. Shabti Dolls the ancient Egyptians had a very powerful idea of what the afterlife would be like and what they would need in order to spend eternity there. They believed that the realm of the dead was an exact mirror image of this life on Earth and that when a person died, they simply traveled from the earthly life to the eternal. So they figured that they would need some stuff with them to help navigate the afterlife and naturally the wealthy took a lot more with them as they had in life, so too in death. All the life that the deceased had enjoyed on Earth would be represented in the realm of the death. Now, there was food, family, homes, etc. and so on, and people would be able to pursue their interests and such like just as they had in life. That also included, oddly enough, working. Yes, if you were a working person in life, you would continue to go to work in death. Sounds like hell more than eternity. On Earth, if an Egyptian could not work through illness or other reasons, even death, they could send someone else to take their place. So they made these Shabti dolls to stand in their place for when they could not fulfill their duties. Shabti dolls were figurative funerary objects that would accompany the dead into the afterlife. These dolls were accompanied by a spell that stated what their function would be. The the idea was that the spell would work to allow the Shabti to come to life and then fulfill the role of the dead person, allowing the soul to go about the business of the afterlife. Number 6. Vertebrae of 98 million year old dinosaur is unearthed in Egypt. 
Back in 2016, an expedition to the Baharia Oasis in Egypt's enormous western desert would unearth a fossil of a bit of a dinosaur that lived 98 million years ago, so just a tiny bit older than all these mummies that we've been looking at today. The fossilized neck vertebrae had once belonged to a dinosaur that I can't pronounce, and that one lived during the Cretaceous period, which was around 145 to 66 million years ago. These types of dinosaurs were apparently very common in parts of what is now Europe and places that are now the continents of the Southern Hemisphere like Africa and South America. But it is the very first time that these species have been found in Egypt, so naturally that had all the paleontology people all hot and bothered under the collar with excitement. Number 5. Archaeologists discover 2200-year-old Egyptian shipwreck in the Mediterranean Sea. This shipwreck is believed to have had a rather dramatic final few moments as a seafaring vessel, although I should imagine that most ships that are about to become wrecks feel at least a little bit dramatic as the event is taking place. Archaeologists discovered this ship that's believed to have sunk 2200 years ago in the Mediterranean, and it's thought that the ship was hit by falling stone blocks as they tumbled from the Temple of Amun when it was in the process of being destroyed by an enormous earthquake. This ship would be found beneath the remains of the underwater water city of Herakleion. This legendary lost city has its origins as far back as the 12th century BC, which is an incredibly long time. It's a really, really old thing and has many links to other great civilizations of the era, ancient Greece. Archaeologists believe that the city was lost to the sea as a result of a combination of earthquakes and tsunamis, as well as the issue that we share in our modern world, that being rising sea levels. The great buildings of Herakleion were likely taken by the waters when the city experienced a great flood at around the end of the 2nd century BC. Many structures would have collapsed under the pressure of the water, and huge areas of the city would be lost. It's believed that some residents may have stayed in the few remaining parts of the city during the Roman era and the early days of Arab rule, but it continued to disintegrate and was completely taken by the Mediterranean by the end of the 8th century AD. Number 4. Koi Tomb and El Asasfi this tomb would be discovered in the ancient necropolis of Saqqara, like so many things that we've seen from ancient Egypt. Now I know, I know, you're probably saying, what? Another tomb? How utterly thrilling. But this, I assure you, is different. I know that you've heard that one before as well, but what they say was different about this one is that its walls were covered in some extraordinary and extremely useful, for history reasons, paintings. These images are, according to experts, a kind of archaeological architectural blueprint for the creation of the royal pyramids of the 5th dynasty. Whereas other parts of this tomb had been plundered, most notably the stones had been stolen and the sarcophagus of white limestone had been destroyed, these painted walls of this particular tomb had remained unusually intact and very bright and well preserved, as you can likely see. Number 3. 3400 year old pathway restored near Luxor. Here we have another, frankly, rather boring sounding discovery in Egypt. I mean, honestly, the Egyptian tourist board may be scraping the bottom of the barrel if they're trying to coax visitors to their sites with a newly restored ancient walkway. It is, after all, a path. No mummies or death masks or tombs or anything. But anyhow, here we are, doing the work of promoting the treasures of ancient Egypt to try and coax visitors out of their travel phobia and back to look at the many wonders of this ancient land of pharaohs and camels. This 3,400-year-old walkway is called the Avenue of the Sphinxes, and it's basically a path that connects the temples of Karnak and Luxor. Now, I know it's utterly thrilling stuff, but in all fairness, it was discovered in the 1940s and has taken that many decades of painstaking restoration work in order to open it up to the public today. So, maybe we should be a little bit more exciting? I mean, who could possibly say? Number 2. Extraordinary find of mummified baby girls that share DNA with King Tut. The practice of burying dead pharaohs along with their pets and sometimes even their servants was relatively common. The general idea of the tomb was that it should contain everything that the pharaoh would need in the next life. This meant absolutely everything. And for a time, that also included the servants of the dead pharaoh, even if they were inconveniently not quite dead. This insane practice was eventually replaced with models of their servants. No doubt this idea was enthusiastically endorsed by servants 
everywhere who were still alive. So it should not have come as a huge surprise that the tomb of Tutankhamun contained mummies other than just the pharaoh himself. However, the fact that the mummies were tiny babies, that's a bit more startling. When the tomb would be uncovered in 1922, the pharaoh's two infant daughters were discovered inside. It does not appear to have been as sinister as it sounds. The children had died prior to their father's death. This super sad story is compounded by the fact that the babies have no known names. They're simply referred to as 317A and 317B. Number 1. Statue of Ka Apur very few wooden statues survive from ancient Egypt, and there are obviously many more of their stone counterparts that have survived the rigors of time. But this one is remarkable on the account of its lasting detail and completeness. This is a statue made of a priest named Ka Apur. It survived because it was made of very high quality wood. This is cedar that was most probably imported from Lebanon, unlike many other wooden statues that were made of poor quality local woods. This piece was originally carved in wood and then plastered and finally painted. It represents Ka Apur in a striding pose, with his left foot forward and holding a staff in his left hand. It's believed that he probably held a cylinder in his right hand, although that no longer remains. The eyes of the statue have been inlaid with black stone, calcite, and rock crystal, and they're outlined with copper. This shows the stature, and likely the wealth, of the man that it depicts. Well, that's all today from the tombs and sarcophagi of ancient Egypt. Which of these incredible finds did you think was most interesting? And did any of them scare you? Or are all these scaredy cat scientists being a little bit soft? As always, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.